Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Gotta talk about all of this drama that is going on with Rod Wave. A lot of people have been wanting to know my opinion because y'all know I'm a big Rod Wave fan. I went to his concert here in the Twin Cities. Um, I just, I enjoy his music, you know, yes, you know, Rod Wave will have you in your feelings, will have you crying, but he's been getting caught out a lot by Lil Boosie. Lil Boosie's basically been calling out everybody who has been sampling his music. Uh, Lil Boosie is, well, I don't even think it's a threat. He's trying to take all of these rappers to court, including YG and others, but mainly Rod Wave and people are upset. So you got the Rod Wave fans, they're going at Boosie. Let me go ahead and try and pull up this. I have so many pages up here. I'm trying to find all the little Boosie and Rod Wave drama. So give me just a second. Okay. So let me go ahead and share my screen. We're going to go ahead and listen to what Lil Boosie has to say about the situation uh, really quick. So give me just a moment. Okay. Here we go. So this was the, I'm gonna show y'all the initial video here really quick. Y'all better do y'all research. Ride Wave ain't the only one. I don't got paper on, paperwork on the way. A lot of people, bro, it ain't just Ride Wave. Ain't it crazy, cause all of them name it the same song. Nah, ain't in my feeling. I'm smiling, ain't in my feeling. I ain't mad. I love when they do that. I ain't mad. When I hear people then took my shit and sang in my shit and put it on records, I be they giving me my flowers, you know. I be liking that when I hear. It's just you got you gotta compensate me too. This is a business, you know. Just like you do everybody else. They supposed to reach out and be like, man, we need to get your writer share, your publishing on this record. We finna put out. Yeah, Ride Wave ain't the only one. Okay, so this was the song. I can't play all of it. I thank you for that. All right, so y'all heard that. We can't play too much of yeah. it. Then, you know, people started dragging Boosie. So Boosie was like, how is it foul? It's business. And you know that you ain't go do that to no other major label without compensating them. They split. Why do it to a nigga you looked up to and you expect me to let you take my kids publishing, get the F out of here, stop playing victim nigga. Um, you gonna go sample No Limit, Bad Boy, Cash Money, So, so Deaf, Michael Jackson, Marvin Gaye, I guess R. Kelly, Prince, word for word for free, no, at Rod Wave. Man, it got to stop, man. Man, you ain't got to sue no like me, man, I'm gonna pull up. You talking about suing me? I hope that's what he said. Hey, bro, I'll pull up on you, bro. Tell me a number. Tell me a real number, though. <coughs> okay, the real number. Pull up and make sure you straight. Soupy. Man, it's Okay, so basically Rod Wave is saying that he'll pull up to Boosie and just, you know, give him a bag, you know, drop him some money um, on the situation. There's another video because he's, he's been kind of trending lately and he's getting really annoyed. Because y'all know Rod Wave for the most part keeps to himself. Let me find this other clip here. Give me just a second. Okay, so this was another one of Boosie. He was mad with YG. So let me, let me share this as well. So <laughs> <laughs> Boosie is on a row. So um, Boosie said he has another record. And basically, this one came out in 2014. YG dropped it. And um, so he's mad about this. Okay, we can't play all the music. But basically, if you go and you listen to it, they're playing YG's version and then Boosie's version. But again, this song has been out since 2014. And it's now 2023, going on 2024. And Boosie is looking for a payday. So now on top of that, people were calling out Rod Wave. 
Um, they're saying that he basically stole from Jay Z. He stole like Jay Z's whole lyrics, and so people were calling him out about that. And Rod Wave is also saying that um, he's not stealing from people. This is what people do in the music business. So let me go ahead and share this tab really quick here. In the middle. So in this clip, he's basically showing how Boosie himself also sampled Carl Sims. I don't even know who Carl Sims is, to be honest with y'all. But he's saying that, you know, Boosie's not original either. He's also sampling from people. But I'm sure that if Boosie sampled from him, most likely he got clearance for it. So after Rod Wave was getting drugged for um, stealing Jay-Z's lyrics bar for bar, this was his response here. So let me share this tab. So Rod Wave says, basically, fuck y'all, I did what I came to do, ain't no dropping shit else. Then he says, you bitches don't even fuck with me, speaking on me, mind your business, bitch. Okay, he's big mad. Then he says, I ain't never stole shit, five platinum albums, find you a hobby, nigga. <laughs> then he says, just cause you don't know about the original song don't mean I stole it, you, you dumb bitch. So basically, he's really mad. I've never seen Rod Wave like this. Like, I'm like, when I seen him cussing and going off, I had to clutch my invisible damn pearls. I'm like, uh-uh, y'all done pissed off Rod Wave. Because y'all know Rod Wave, he literally, he comes online, he drops his music, and then he runs away. Like, he does not, I don't know, he just doesn't really talk on social media. He just drops dope music, and then he disappears, which I like. He kind of gives me Beyonce vibes. Like, I'm just going to drop some shit, and that's it. You know what I mean? So he's out here cussing folks out. Yes, Kodak Black too. So, okay, so let me say this. So right now, Boosie's on the road, child. He got his time. Where is my tiny violin, bitch? Let me go ahead and open this up, okay? Boosie is on a hobo tiny violin tour, okay? Near, 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 near. So Boosie wants his paper, okay? He's going after Kodak Black. He's going after Rob Wave. Now he's going after YG. And so the internet streets, the hip hop streets are split. They're saying it's apparent that Boosie's broke. Them Vlad TV checks ain't checking how they used to, okay? Nobody cares about his opinion like that on Vlad TV. The views are dropping. So people are feeling like, you know, he has that huge mansion. Even if he paid it out right, he still has to, you know, pay for lights and heating and cooling. He got a whole bunch of damn children. So that's child support and mouths to, you know, to feed and shit. Um, so, you know, Boosie needs the money, okay? And I, I don't doubt that he needs the money. We all need the money. Hell, even YouTube is blocking ad blocker. Shit, YouTube said they need their checks, bitch. Y'all not gonna keep blocking ads. So they're getting rid of ad blocker on YouTube. So everybody needs their money. Every website you go on, they begging for money. They want you to turn off your ad blocker. They want you to pay for subscriptions. So everybody needs money, right? No shade. But I gotta keep it real. As much as Lil Boosie, you know, he gets on my nerves sometimes. He's not wrong in this instance. And this is me as a Rod Way fan, okay? You can't take somebody's work and then just because you, you remix it and put your sauce on it, it's still their shit underneath all that lasagna, okay? Just because you pour a bunch of sauce on it does not mean that you didn't get the base of the lasagna from them. So, you know, unfortunately, Rod Wave, honey, okay, we love you, Pooh, but you're going to have to pay up. And you can't just drop him a bag because, again, this is talking about publishing, royalties. This is money that he can eat on indefinitely and his family can eat on indefinitely. If you just give him one lump sum, that doesn't mean anything. And let's also keep it real. Rod Wave is popping right now. And sadly, when you are popping, and he doesn't need antics. He doesn't have to pull a blue face in Krishan. He doesn't have to, you know, jump on social media and do all this stuff that we're used to, you know, SoundCloud rappers doing. He just drops his music and he keeps it moving. And so he's found a formula that works for him. His concerts are selling out. And I think, you know, the industry is feeling away. People are feeling away about Rod Wave. They feel like, you know, maybe he's a little bit too perfect. He doesn't beef. He kind of keeps to himself. So I think people are testing him. So now they're trying to, you know, comb through his lyrics. You know, social media is messy, honey. I said out of all the songs, now y'all want to bring up that he took this verse from Jay-Z. Okay. All right. But either way, he has to pay. Let's not forget, uh, who was that? Who had all them set? T-Pain. Remember when T-Pain had dropped that song, he was using all the people's samples. He was like using words that people say in their songs, like Little John and the East Side Boys. 
Um, I forgot what T Pain song that was. If y'all could write in the chat, you know what I'm saying? I know I got brain fog. I can't think of the T Pain song. But remember, all them different artists sued him because he was using like their slogans in the song. And so they all sued him, including uh Little John sued him. And had the nerve to be in the shade room put posting eyeballs and shit. <laughs> But yeah, when you use anybody's, you know, slogan, their their beat, what they do, you know, their lyrics, you owe them some money. Uh, yes, it was buy you a drink. Thank you. If you, yep, snap your fingers. Two step. When he was saying all them words, everybody that he was shouting out, he thought he was shouting them out, but he was really saying words from their song. He got sued by every artist that he was so-called shouting out and buy you a drink. Literally every artist came for him. He posted about this maybe like a month ago. Also, Cisco, if y'all remember in Thong, in, in Thong song, he said, living la vida loca. Okay, that was a play on um, uh, Ricky Martin, Rick Martin, whatever, Ricky Martin. That was a play on his song, living la vida loca. Ricky Martin, they sued him and they were able to get a huge bag royalties off of the Thong song. Ricky Martin gets just as much money from the thong song as, as Cisco does, you know? So you have to be really, really careful with that. Look at dusty ass P Diddy, AKA Puffy. Okay. Remember, I'll be missing you. It's kind of hard with you not around. Know you in heaven, smiling down, watching us while we pray for you. Every day we pray for you till the day we meet. He stole that whole shit from Sting. The whole, he didn't change anything. Just ran to the studio and started rapping over Sting's, over Sting's entire beat, music, composition, everything. Do you know Dusty Diddy don't get no money from missing you? Faith don't get no money. Biggie's kids don't get no money. Sting gets all the money, all the publishing from I'll Be Missing You. Okay? So, yes, that is facts. He makes no money off of that song because again, being lazy and he was the king of sampling. They stayed sampling shit in the late nineties, honey. Everything was a damn sample. Y'all still sample, but it was really bad with Diddy and them. They was always sampling stuff. And it was so bad that when I would hear the original, I'd be like, oh, they took that from Biggie. And people were like, uh, no, that song came out in the sixties. I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? Like that's how bad sampling was in the nineties. That we'd hear the originals and we'd, I wouldn't even know it was the original. I would assume that that was Biggie and Puffy's thing. But um, yeah, so Sting got that money. So you have to be very, very careful when you're talking about the music industry. So even though a lot of y'all don't like Boosie, he's not lying in this instance. If this was, you know, Def Jam or a major, or a major label, Rod Wave wouldn't have done that. He knows that he would have had to get clearance. But sometimes, you know, unfortunately, when we're independent, we think we can take from other people and it's supposed to be okay. And it's not. So, Rod, you know, we love you, Big Daddy, okay? We love you, but you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to run Boosie his money. He's not lying. Now, I do feel like Boosie, like I said, the money ain't money in. He ain't making what he was making on Vlad TV. So now he's trying to, I think he's literally right now on Apple Music, Googling his lyrics and seeing what pops up. Cause come on now, now you try to sue YG and that song came out in 2014. Now you wasn't tripping in 2014 when the money was good, but now you mad in 2023. So what's really the tea, Boosie? So I think that's what's going on. I think he's literally out here Googling his lyrics and seeing who has used his lyrics in a song so he can sue them. And he's definitely gonna come after Kodak cause him and Kodak been beefing and stuff. So. It's going to be very interesting. Yes, I caught Rod Wave, Big Daddy, honey. <laughs> he just looks like a big old teddy bear. Like you want to rub on his belly or something. I don't know. But yes, I mean, regardless, you know, Boosie's owed his money. So, you know, I can't. Y'all know me. I'm unbiased and I'm fair. And everybody was, you know, like, oh, I know you're a big Rod Wave fan. What do you think about this? I think Rod Wave is wrong. He should have got clearance. You know, and him just saying, oh, don't sue me. I'm going to just come bring you a bag. No, that's not how it works, brother. You got to run him a check indefinitely, okay? So, yeah, he you got to run him his money. So, hopefully, Rod Wave will learn from this, you know, and understand that he needs to get clearance before he takes from other artists. You know, you got to, you know, you got to hook up these artists and stuff. But I do believe that y'all are hating low-key on Thick Daddy, Okay. I do believe that there is a slight conspiracy. A lot of these rap dudes are feeling away. 
because like I told y'all, you know, rap is dying right now and it's on life support and Rod Wave is doing good. He makes meaningful music. You know, he actually is lyrical. People really enjoy his music. And I think there's a little bit of hate, you know, going his way because he's doing good, you know? So, um, yeah, Thick Daddy, you messed up, honey. You're going to have to cut that check, baby. <laughs> if you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.